and a sneak peek behind the scenes of Fenway Park, a rare treat, and you are invited for free. This is Fox 25 Morning News. Coming up, a very unique view of Fenway Park. A local tech company is going 3D to honor America's most beloved ballpark for its 100th anniversary. And they didn't leave out any of the minor details either. You'll see it when we come back. All right, let's go over to Gene, who's got a unique look at the old ballpark. Yeah, you got that right, Brett. We have 3D movies, right? 3D TVs. Now we've got a 3D Fenway Park in honor of the park's 100th birthday celebration, Bill Rica based. Uh, Object North America has printed a large-scale 3D replica capturing every detail from the green monster to the Ted Williams seat in right field, a little red seat you can even see. They didn't leave that out either. Here with us to show us the goods and explain how this all works is Bruce Bradshaw. He's the director of marketing for Object North America. And Bruce, first of all, here's what amazed me about this, and it is a, 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 you look at it as a, a remarkable replica, but this came off a printer? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, it actually, believe it or not, it actually, it's a, a 3D printer that, that jets a, a resin that turns into a plastic when it's done and so this is this Fenway replica is made of 40 different separate pieces but it came out of a printer that seems remarkable to me that you would uh, be able to get this off a printer I guess I'm maybe a little behind the times which wouldn't be that much of a surprise how tough was it to get it to uh, get it to scale and to get everything into place and, and draw it up and, and is that the first thing you do you actually literally go to a drawing board yeah well we actually hired a model uh, a modeler by the name of Rob Rodriguez he's a guy that that took blueprints and uh, pictures of Fenway and he actually put it into a, a 3d CAD pack package software and designed it all up and you know we tried to capture all the the relevant new sections of Fenway and things along those lines and, and you'll notice there's, there's items like the pesky pole and yeah. the Ted Williams seat that are on here that you get it on there. I know uh, our camera's got a tough angle here but you can see the, uh, the Teddy ball game seat is right in there the nice red seat which is at 502 feet, I think, from home plate. I can't remember. Lots the of exact. discussions on that for the last yes. couple of days. Yeah, that's right, because <clears throat> Josh Hamilton almost put one up there as well, but that's not something we want to talk about. What made you decide, you know what, Fenway, let's do a 3D model here? Well, for me personally, I, I'm clearly a Red Sox enthusiast. I can remember bringing my son to Fenway Park as a child, but the company in general, Object, we're based in Bill Ricker up the road, uh, real. Uh, you know Fenway Park Boston Red Sox fans and we said how, how can we contribute to the hundredth anniversary and and participate in this and we thought this was a great way of doing it and this is gonna be around on display so folks can come uh, check it out themselves. absolutely yeah we're gonna be actually a game on uh, this afternoon uh, this evening and uh, we're gonna bring it up to Fenway Park for the open house and bring it around there so folks can see it and then when we're done we're gonna actually donate to the the Boston Sports Museum so people can very cool. We'll get it from and it, of all 3D things, and I'm not one with an eye, but I would think if you're thinking, what, what, what can we do out there that would make a great 3D model? You can't get any better than Fenway because no, there's so many nooks and crannies yeah. and wonderful things about it. It just kind of stands up. You walk up and say, wow, that's Fenway. And it, it, yeah, it's actually, you know, it's it, the replication and the detail of it from a, uh, a fine detail. Again, you'll see if you, if you looked in here closely, there's a couple of people actually placed in here, uh, as well as it as an architectural model and how it's used is... is yeah, Remy up cool. there in the broadcast booth? Yeah, there. absolutely. There's a little, <laughs> little Gene Vancey up there. Oh, yeah. Well, he's, got, <laughs> he's behind a pole probably. got bad seats. So what is it exactly you guys do at uh, uh, Object North America? Is this the type of work you guys are involved with uh, anyway? Yeah, so we actually sell printers that, that make these or that allow folks to make these. So any company, you know, Fender Guitars, BMW, Graco, Garmin, all use our products to to replicate their products before they go to market, mm. before they're going to, to manufacture a million of these things, they want to make sure they fit How long correctly. is the process, too, from, from sort of concept till what we see here? Well, uh, this was probably about a three-week project in general. Two weeks of that, two to three weeks of that was design a week worth of printing and assembly and that kind of stuff. So it, it's something that can be done in a relatively short time considering the scale of the project. Sure, right? absolutely. You know, obviously if you're printing a small thing like the lights, right. um, that's a smaller project than something of this scale. And a, are you finding there's a demand for this stuff now? Because I think when people see something like this and they have, like, say, a guitar yeah. and they want to have it in a 3D version, <clears throat> You know, it's funny. Cool. The demand is real high in consumer uh, or in corporate America, but it's actually starting to, to uh, come down to the consumer level as well where hobbyists and enthusiasts and things like that can actually get one of these printers uh, if they want to. Well, it's very cool. I invite people, if you're over at Fenway, uh, check the thing out and get a uh, up-close look at it because it is pretty impressive. And when you find out it came off a printer, you're going to be like, you're kidding me. Bruce, we appreciate you coming in. Thanks, Gene. Thanks appreciate a lot. It. Continued success. Let's uh, get it downstairs to Shannon. All right, Gene. Thank you very much.